This man has a lot of titles under his belt, but this weekend he's here to bring the laughs and a lot of them. Joining us now is funny man Greg Fitzsimmons. Welcome to Better Kansas City, sir. I thank you. I, I feel like I want a title, though, for this week. A title only for this week only. What would it be? King of Kansas City, King maybe? of Kansas City. I don't know if we have a resident King of Kansas City, so I think you should take the title, at least for the next couple days. Court Jester? Court Jester. That probably makes more sense, right? Maybe. we got to figure out who the king is to see whose court you're going to be you're gesturing. You're the king, oh, man. No, 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 no. Yeah, Pat Mahomes might be king, right? He's okay. a quarterback, so maybe yeah, yeah, he could right. sit on the throne, and then you'd, yeah. you'd be out there entertaining everybody. But, uh, well, no, no, welcome to town. How many times have you been, uh, been through Kansas City before? You know, it's funny. I've been doing stand-up 30 years, and I was just talking to somebody about it, and uh, I think this is my second time for really? some reason. I don't know why. Huh. I think, be well, I can tell you why off the air. <laughs> but there's... There's certain cities that I'm not allowed in. Oh, like yeah. you've been like, it's the, what's the, the restrictive areas? Or yeah, yeah. You can't come within 100 feet of so-and-so? It's not a person. It's just the city just itself. It's the city itself. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good thing. We have a lot of different cities just on the metro, so maybe you can just get close to a couple of our different spots. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay. Well, we know you from, from all over the place. Uh, you've done a lot of writing for a lot of different people around town, and also you've got uh, your podcast. I want to talk about podcasting right. a little bit because it seemed like back in the day everybody would have like their album that would come out and we'd all rush to the stores and buy it but now comedians all have podcasts how often do you do your podcast and how much interaction do you get back and forth with your fans well it's called fitz dog radio and i started it about 10 years ago and mm -hmm. i've done 800 episodes wow and uh, I, did, I did it twice a week for a long time and then i was writing on you know that tv show crashing on yeah. hbo okay i was writing on that and those hours were crazy, and so I had to. St I could only do it once a week, and uh, but it's great. Like I have on, you know, I just had on Joey Diaz. I just I just had Rogan on. I just had Judd Apatow. Um, you know, I just I bring in guys that I know from the clubs. Yeah, and we just sit and we, you know, make fun of each other for an hour. <laughs> Let's talk about. Um uh, Joe Joe Rogan being on your podcast. What's he like on your podcast? Because he has one of the biggest podcasts out there, right? So is the he biggest. kind of like the different, is he any different form when he comes on somebody else's podcast? Um, no, because Joe and I started together in Boston. Yeah. So we've known each other for 30 years. Do you give him kind of any kind of grief about his career path where he started as the comedian, but then he was hosting like Fear Factor before he comes back to doing like more podcasting and stuff? I think it's hard to give Joe grief about yeah. anything. <laughs> he, first of all, he's physically a very intimidating yeah, guy. <laughs> and, uh, and also, he's, he's been so successful. Like, you know, I mean, so successful. And I'm so proud of him. Yeah. Because when we started out, we were like living in the same apartment and we would just get in the car every really? night. We would drive to New Hampshire to do five minutes for free mm -hmm. from Boston. Then we go to the next time we go to Rhode Island and do five minutes for free. That's and that's crazy. what we did for years, just trying to get get your name work. out there and everything. Yeah, and then we and then we both moved to New York around the same time. We moved to L.A. around the same time. Hmm. And he's like a brother to me. He's yeah. just yeah, such a great supportive friend. I mean, it, 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 it's been awesome to see where he's taken because I didn't know him from the comedy circuit beforehand. I just it was introduced to him on you know Fear Factor. Yeah. And then came in back when he'd host the UFC fights. It's like. Is that Joe Rogan? And yeah. Then, and then I finally did a little bit of research on it. I was like, oh, cool, you know? So yeah. it's, it's interesting to find, and to find out that you've been with him from day one. That's, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I started out in Boston at a really interesting time. There was just so many, um, there was so many great comics when, when I started, you know? It was Dave Cross, we were just talking about it. Mm -hmm. Dave Cross and Mark Marin and Louis C.K. and Joe and... Janine Garofalo, Sarah Silverman. Yeah. You know, it was like it was like one of these explosions of comedy in one place. Yeah. And the crowds in Boston were just so good hmm. that all these comedians, Patrice O'Neill and Dane Cook, it was like it was crazy. All came out of that one spot. Then, yeah. At and right about the same time. time. Yeah. Huh. So uh, show this weekend at Zona Rosa at the Improv. Just talk a little bit about uh, what what do you do you talk about during the show? A little bit of everything? Well, I'm talking about my son a little bit because it's weird. <laughs> We're going through a big change. My son just was started college this fall. Oh, man. Yeah. And it was pretty... I, I was surprised he even got in somewhere because he's not <laughs> a bright kid. He had, no. like, all Ds, all Cs, his SAT. I think he got, like, 100 on his SATs. It's a spot for somebody, or for everybody, right? Right. But so we had to hire one of those fancy college 
placement advisors. Oh yeah, it was three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Lori, Lori Laughlin in there with you? <laughs> and, uh, but he got into Yale. Oh, he got into Yale. Yeah, yeah, is he on the rowing team? He's too? on the rowing team. Oh, fantastic! Which is exciting because he's never rowed <laughs> he's before. Never, no. no, he just kind of points and rows. This is this is great. Catch him at the Improv in Zona Rosa all weekend. Greg, thank you very much for your time. Thanks very much. It.